You thick with two C's. Then wear clothes for the women that's thick with two C's. You feel me? Like hey y'all, welcome or welcome back to the channel. If you enjoy videos about clothes, shoes, fashion shopping a little lifestyle this is the channel for you go ahead and subscribe and tune back in every tuesday and friday to continue seeing my videos all right hi today's title you could tell i'll be giving y'all seven tips to find your style so keep on watching so you first want to declutter your closet Okay, so get rid of all them shirts with them yellow armpit stains, them jeans that is two sizes too small. Anything you wore in high school, get rid of it. Like, cause we're at this point where anything we wore in high school probably just needs to be let go. The reason is the more choices we have, the harder it is to make a decision. If you got thousands of pieces in your closet, you probably steady looking at your closet like, I ain't, man, I ain't got nothing to wear. You do, you just have too many choices. So get rid of the stuff you know you're never gonna wear again. It's a stepping stone into always finding something to wear. So I declutter my closet about two, three times a year. I have, oh Lord. <laughs> this is heavy, but um, this is a whole bag of clothes that I plan to get rid of very soon. And I have another half bag full. What kind of stuff is in here? Um, shirt that I was just sleeping, but it had a hole in the armpit, so that had to go. Old bomber jacket I know I was never gonna wear again. And an Adidas jacket from middle school. Sis, why do you still have that? And then a horrendous clutch that I know I was never going to carry again. So, mm -mm. so, point is, declutter your closet, get rid of stuff you know you're never going to wear again. Do yourself a favor. Next, you want to experiment with different brands, colors, styles, different stores you usually don't buy from. I know me personally, I'm experimenting with stores that are not Fashion Nova at this point because I would say 80% of my wardrobe is from Fashion Nova and I need to stop. Say you're a minimalist dresser, you wear a lot of black and white, maybe try to throw a little color in sometimes or wear a little print or something, get a little spicy with it. Or if you know you're the type of person that wears all kind of stuff that's like out there and flamboyant, then maybe try to tone it down a little bit, you know, just like I said, experiment. And ultimately what you wanna find after experimentation is what you feel most cute, comfortable, and confident in. Then you want to learn your body and perfect your body. So if you think with two C's, then wear clothes for the women that stick with two c's you feel me like leave the small clothes for the women that are small or petite or whatever if you are shaped like a box you you don't have no curves then get into clothes that give the illusion of curves so like a lot of ruched pieces do that they make you look like you got hips and a nice booty but you may not in real life but like i said it's the illusion that the clothes are giving at the end of the day you want to learn what's flattering to your body then the fourth tip is don't copy be inspired so when you're searching around for inspiration about how you want to dress right whether that's google pinterest instagram whatever you want to find people that dress how you want to dress but don't copy their outfits from head to toe that's that's real tacky and that's lame please don't do that you want to be inspired by how they dress my top inspirations for how i dress are tiana taylor and slaylin on instagram i'll see an outfit or two or whatever that i see them wear but i won't copy that outfit from head to toe i'm not gonna go buy the hat the shirt the pants the shoes no like i said that's tacky 
so you want to maybe let's say it's a nice jacket they got on buy the jacket that's cool you know what i'm saying they ain't got to be the only person in the world wearing a jacket but don't wear the exact same outfit they have on with the jacket you want to spice up the jacket your own way like make it your own you feel me like be your own person don't copy people head to toe that's lame try to avoid that at all costs next don't be a trend chaser cannot stress this enough just because everybody is wearing it does not mean you have to people think because you know what i'm saying it's in style then i have to wear it to be in style no no you don't now everybody is into these shoes that you know the dad kind of shoes like why y'all want to walk around with shoes that y'all granddaddy gonna wear like i don't understand it's trending right now so everybody feels like they have to wear it to be considered oh you're in style no not really if you don't genuinely like the trend then don't wear it i hate dad kind of shoes women are trying to get back into jean skirts tacky to me so i'm not going to go and get me a jean skirt just because everybody's doing that no i don't like jean skirts and i feel like they're tacky so i'm not going to wear that another one women are starting to get back into little kitty heels like wearing heels that's like two inches no not me just because everybody doing it don't mean i'm gonna hop on a train and go do it that's being a trend chaser you're not really being authentic to what you like if you don't honestly genuinely like the trend if that makes sense this also doesn't mean i hate living by this busy street anyway like i was saying but this doesn't mean purposely go and dress like it's 2006 or something but i'm just saying if it's a trend and you don't like it then avoid it next if you like it buy it so it kind of goes along with the last tip if you walking around the mall and you walk past a rainbow um and you see a jacket on the little mannequin in the display and you like the jacket go in rainbow and go get the jacket people be so caught up into like how much something costs the name brand all that let me tell y'all rainbow and fashion nova buy from the same exact vendors so same stuff y'all can get from fashion nova you can get from rainbow for way 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 cheaper that's a little secret for y'all but i'm the type of person if i like it i'ma buy it so if i go on marshall's ross rainbow j max whatever i don't care what it costs i don't care about the brand if i like it i'm gonna put it on and i'm gonna spice it up and i'm gonna make it look good period a lot of people wearing jordans wearing yeezys if you like them reeboks you saw in champs buy them why does it matter what everyone else got on in order to find your style you need to wear things that you like you're not gonna feel good walking around in something that you hate or you think is truly ugly deep down inside but you just bought it because everybody else got it on all this name brand balenciaga gucci mess that all that stuff is ugly but people gonna buy it because the name and the price if you genuinely like that stuff and that's what floats your boat then you ride that wave then but if you don't genuinely like it do not buy it at the end of the day stop worrying about what others doing buying wearing saying and do you if you like it buy it simple as that and the last tip is to act your wage don't act your age well you do want to act your age but you also want to act your wage you feel me acting your tax bracket so if you can't afford it don't go be trying to buy it this kind of builds on the last tip because if you like it buy it but you also have to be able to afford it you feel me a lot of people mistake that because i'm wearing designer or three thousand dollar outfit then i'm stylish or i'm fashionable no it's not the case style being fashionable is making a thirty dollar outfit look like it's three thousand you feel me like i said i got pieces from ross marshall's rainbow but 90 percent of the time I get compliments on my outfits is because it's not about where it's from. It's not about how much it costs. It's about what you make it look like. It ain't nothing in my closet designer. There's nothing in my closet luxury. But like I said, I make anything look good. It doesn't matter how much it costs or how much I paid for it. And nobody's going to know anyway, unless you have on 
the big designer brands purposely to make it look like, you know what I'm saying, I have money. That makes sense. I hope it makes sense because it does to me. It's not about how much you spent on it. It's about how you make it look, how you put it together. Declutter your closet, experiment, know your body, don't copy, but be inspired. Don't be a trend chaser, be a trendsetter. If you like it, buy it and add your wage. Those are my seven tips on how to find your style. I've used all of these tips in real life and I've pretty much defined my style. If y'all enjoyed the video, comment if you want, like if you liked it, definitely subscribe though. And I will see y'all in the next one.